I thought, how could I have won this award? I didn't apply for anything. And apparently, that's not a prerequisite. You don't have to apply. You can just win. So then I felt badly for a while that I had won this award and I hadn't done anything. And then one of my friends said, stop complaining. It's okay to win things. <laughs> The journey as a law student is a slog fest. I guess you still use books, don't you? You still use books? I remember falling asleep with these big heavy books on my lap, night after night, and you just have to slog it out, and it's hard. The rewards, though, I think, are, are material. And so the journey, come on, this is hard stuff. It's the most intellectually challenging education I undertook, and you know, I am an engineer, I studied quantum physics and differential equations and that stuff is easy compared to the law which is very subtle and very argument based and it's almost poetry reading to me reading Supreme Court decisions because of the it's beautiful language. Uh, the guy is such an uh, admirable interesting intriguing character you know it only reflects well on his academic uh, upbringing, of which SCU was a big part. The reason I went to law school here was because of this one class that I took in business school, which was a requirement. And you might say, that's kind of interesting. So I took this one class, nobody can get out of it apparently, it's called Business and the Law. And I thought, this is fascinating. Just being a dirtball engineer, I have the faintest idea that there was this backdrop that pervades everything. And it's called the law. And it sets boundary conditions on the way we interact. This is really amazing. This is cool. Howard is uh, a really good people person. He knows what makes uh, people tick. He surrounds himself with good people. He really believes in his people. He picks the right people and believes in them. He's a, he's a beacon that way, you know. He draws people, good people, to him, and they have loyalty to him. Hire the smartest people you can find, preferably smarter than you are. That works. And it's, it's challenging to hire people that are smarter than you are and who are different than you are, but do it because it will make the undertaking or the enterprise stronger. Even people to the extent you may not even like. Howard is always doing something. He's reading something, he has his hobbies, um, he still works at Cisco. He's, uh, I don't even know how old he is, but he's very young at heart and uh, in his mind. He's scary smart, you know, and uh, that becomes pretty obvious pretty fast. He uh, has a grip on just about everything he touches, you know, whether it's uh, flying or whatever, he just dives into it, woodworking. Um, and then the other thing that's probably pretty common that they'd say is uh, he's really, really funny. He's a very funny guy. So the merits of a legal education have to do with this establishment of how people interact and then it just makes you more, more competent and more facile in concluding deals and arrangements. And that's what life's about.